Today we're talking about calculating target heart rates. Now there are two major methods that we can use, one being a fairly simple method called the percentage of maximum heart rate method, and the second one being a slightly more complex, still quite easy, called the heart rate reserve, or otherwise known as a Carvonen method. Now it's considered to be a little bit more accurate, or the more accurate of the two. So when we're calculating the percentage of maximum heart rate method, the first thing we need to do is calculate the client's maximum heart rate. We do this by taking their age away from 220. So say you had a client that was 25 years of age, we would calculate their maximum heart rate out to be 195 beats per minute. So 220 minus 25 gives you the 195 beats. From here, what we need to do is take that maximum heart rate and multiply it by the percentage of which you want your client to work at. So say you wanted them to work at a moderate intensity, say between 70 to 80%, all we would do is multiply the maximum heart rate that we calculated by the chosen percentage. So here you can see 195 multiplied by 70% gave us 136.5, and multiplying by 80% gave us 156 beats per minute. So if we wanted our client to work between 70 and 80%, all we would tell them to do is to make sure their heart rate stayed between 137 to 156 beats per minute. Now using our second method, known as the heart rate reserve method, or the Carvonen method, we need two pieces of information to get this calculation correct. We need firstly the client's maximum heart rate, but we'll also need their resting heart rate. So taking our 25 year old again and estimating that their resting heart rate is 65 beats per minute, the first part of the calculation is taking their resting heart rate away from that maximum heart rate. So here it's a simple calculation, 195 being the client's maximum heart rate minus their resting heart rate of 65 gives us what we call the heart rate reserve which calculates out at 130 beats per minute. Now from here, we're going to use that heart rate reserve and multiply by the percentage we've chosen for them to work at. So once again, we're going to use the 70 to 80%. So the heart rate reserve being 130, multiply that by the 70% gives us 91, and by the 80% gives us 104 beats per minute. Now we haven't finished quite here, we have one more step to go. And the last step is to add on the resting heart rates back to these figures. So for 70%, we add the 65 beats of the resting heart rate back to the 91 to give us a training heart rate of 156. And the 80%, so 104 to plus 65 gave us 169 beats per minute. So using this method, we would say that the training heart rate for this client is between 156 to 169 beats per minute. Now, one thing to note from this is that the two methods don't give us the same results. So when we look at the percentage of maximum heart rate methods, you can see that their figures are considerably lower than that of the heart rate reserve. So generally, if you want the, around the same figures, the percentage of maximum heart rate has to be around 10 to 15% higher. But as long as you understand the fact that these are different, you can use whichever method you want when calculating your client's training heart rate.